Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and today I'm back with one more interesting video and it's about Ansible Vault. So this is going to be our sixth video of our RHCE8 learning track. So as always, I have created notes. So let's take a look at what Ansible Vault is. So basically Ansible Vault is a command which will allow encryption and thus protecting the file. The file will be password protected and to decrypt it, you need to provide it with the password. And the syntax is very simple. It's ansible-vault, encrypt, and, that the and then the file name. So it's a utility or you can say it's a command to encrypt uh, or protect the file. So let's go to our demo machine. And as always, we will be working with our dragon. Um, Raptor and T-Rex. So to decrypt a file, so let's take a look. I, as always, you can see that I'm in my working directory. It's obd lamp. And let's select a file. So I'm going to check yum-update.yml. Let's select this. So can I cat it? Yes, I can cat the content. So let's encrypt it with Ansible Vault. So the syntax is simple. It's ansible, ansible dash vault, and then to encrypt it, I'll use encrypt, and then the file uh, file name which is yum dash update dot yml, and you can see that it's asking for a new password. So let's give a password abc one two three, and confirm the password abc one two three, and now you can see that it's giving me the confirmation that encryption was successful. So let's cat the content of the same file which we were able to do it earlier. And this time you can see if I cat the content, it's just giving me some random numbers or gibberish. I am not able to read that file. So how can I read the file? So in order to read the file, I need to decrypt it. So how can we do that? So cat decrypt, oh sorry, my bad ansible dash vault this time decrypt and the file is jump dash update.yml it's asking for the password so abc123 and decryption is successful and this time if i cat the content of the same file i would be able to view the content so perfect this is how you can encrypt and decrypt the uh, file with ansible vault so what's the purpose of this Actually, what we can do is we can save our information. We can encrypt the file with Ansible Vault. And while it's encrypted, we can also use it in the playbook. So I'll show you this in a while. So let me just scroll down and let's see what else we have. So we have already seen this. Okay, we can also edit the file. Uh, like we can view the file uh, before decrypting. Uh, like we have seen uh, how to decrypt the file. We, the same way we can edit the file and we can do this by Ansible Vault Edit Playbook or uh, any uh, playbook you have selected and we can provide the password and let's see how to do that. This is one more way to view the file. So again, I'm just going to encrypt the file and it's the same password I'm going to choose, abc123. You can select any password. Okay, now this time, if I cat the content, it's going to show me the encrypted content. And let's see what will happen when we use ansible-vault edit and the file name. Again, it's asking for the vault password. So abc123. And you can see now it has taken me to the Vim or the editor of my choice. So this is, let's say if I edit something, what will happen? Okay, so... Let's say I added one more dot here, or a comment, let's say. I can add a comment. Okay, save and exit. And this time, if I cat the content, you can see that it's still encrypted, it's not decrypted. However, if I use decrypt this time so it's ansible dash vault not i'm not going to edit it i'm going to use decrypt asking for the password 
Now, if this time I cat the content, you can see that uh, the content contains that comment which we uh, edited while using the edit command. So this is the difference between edit and decrypt. Okay, so what else we have? Okay, we have seen the decryption and now we have seen the encryption. Okay, rekey. So rekey is the command which if you want to change your password. So let's say you we have this abc123 password and this time if I want to change the password, let's check if our uh, okay, it's not decrypted. Let's decrypt it again. And I'm going to choose the password ABC123. Sorry about that. Encrypted. We need to encrypt it first because we already decrypted it. Encrypt. ABC123. ABC123. Okay. Now encryption is successful. Now if I want to change the password, so what I can do is I can use rekey. We can first let's check if it's encrypted or not. Yes, it's encrypted. So let's use rekey this time. So it's going to be ansible dash vault uh, rekey yum and the file name. Now I need to provide them with my original password abc123 and now I can assign a new password. Let's call it it pings. It pings. And now you can see that Riki is successful. And this time, if I cat the content, you can see it's uh, encrypted. And now, in order order to decrypt it, I need to provide it with the new password. Let's try it with our old password first. It's abc123, and you can see that it's not encrypting. Oh, sorry decrypting and this time if I use it pings it pings I provided the password and this time decryption is completed cat yum perfect okay so this is three important commands for ansible like edit encrypt decrypt and rekey what else we have okay so to encrypt a file using a file from a password we can also use a file uh, to encrypt a file. So this is very interesting. So let's create a file. I'll show you this. So first thing is we are going to create a file and we will give it a value or any password and then we will use this file to encrypt any any file. So let's take a look at that. How to do that. So I'm going to use the same file. Uh, so let's create a file vim sec.txt okay so this is a secret file or any you can give it any name and the password is going to be uh, this is the password very strong password so this is uh, something one two three let's this is the password one two three so this is the password save and exit and now what I'm going to do is I am going to use ansible dash vault command encrypt dash dash vault id this is the command i need to use if i want to encrypt or decrypt a file using a file so let's call it cell you can call it anything it's just going to be a label so cell at sec.txt so this is the file which we are using we just created the file and to encrypt a file which file i want to encrypt it's jump dash update dot Jamal. So press enter and this time you can see that it has not even asked me to give me a password to confirm the password it just encrypted the file directly so this is how you can use a file to encrypt a file this is so perfect that you can use it for number of files however uh, I can use the same uh, file to encrypt another file let's call it any file MariaDB install and you can see that it's using the same encryption and the encryption was successful so perfect this is how you use a file to encrypt the file and now in order to decrypt it okay first let's uh, check this if the encryption was successful so cat yum 
perfect encrypted cat maria db install perfect so you can see that the encryption was successful although we have used the same file to encrypt but you can see the hash is different so you can see from here 430375 and it's uh, this one has 323538 so of course it's different so and you can see that over here this is the uh, label like the vault id cell and on our other file the first one it will have the same uh, label cell so this is how you encrypt any file using a file and now in order to decrypt it we can use the okay first thing is uh, we can see that the encryption was successful without prompting for the password and to run an encrypted playbook now if you remember I told you that we can run the encrypted playbook so in order to do that what you need to do is you need to give it a command and Sybil dash playbook as you always do give it the inventory where your inventory lies then the file name of course I want to run a yum update let's say and th with the vault via ult dash id it's going to be sell at sec.txt so now what it's doing is it's going to run the same file the playbook however we need to provide the vault id so this is cell at sec.txt and once we press enter you can see that it's running the encrypted playbook that's perfect and we can just cut the content we can see that it's still uh, encrypted so this is how you can protect your playbook with the uh, with encryption or ansible vault and let's check how we can decrypt it so in order to decrypt it you are going to use the same formula which we used earlier instead of using this encrypt i'm going to use decrypt perfect decryption yum perfect decryption successful and this time here we have it so perfect guys this was a very small video but it has shown you the power of ansible vault and it's very simple and i hope now you have a good uh, grasp of this command so guys please do subscribe to my youtube channel please like me on facebook on instagram and twitter please do comment and be safe and God bless you. Goodbye.